to Corvette Edge Garage. Anyway, so just recently had a visit uh, with uh, my new doctor. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. Uh, and uh, over my back, you know, many of you already know I had major back surgery back in uh, August. It's almost a year, uh, it's going to be a year here in a couple days. Uh, but around the seventh month mark, uh, something wasn't right. Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. Uh, I was still having mobility issues on my uh, right side. Um, I can, you know, as far as I can't even put my sock on or my shoe on without any assistance from uh, the tools that, that, that I use to help me put them on. Among other things, you know, and uh, when I seen the surgeon, he said, uh, no, this is not good. Houston, we have a problem. What do you mean this is not good? You mean this is not normal? No, you sure already been through all that. Anyway, uh, the surgeon recommended another surgery. <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill you. Well, I wasn't going to have any part of that. I mean, uh, if, 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 it's, uh, as, as some of you already know, man, surgery is not an easy fucking kick. Uh, it's, uh, I went through a lot of pain, even uh, the first surgery I had. This was all caused by a motorcycle accident. I had back in the uh, 80s. And the agony of defeat. And uh, uh, I remember back then they told me that I wasn't going to be able to ride a motorcycle. Holy chamo. Uh, any longer. But you know what? I told them straight. Uh, that's not an option. You know? Uh, I will be riding a motorcycle after all this. So. Uh, it slowed me down. And I ended up getting major, uh, or getting surgery back then. Uh, but I'm still able to ride a motorcycle. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, I opted not to do a second surgery. Uh, Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Um, uh, there's a lot of rods and uh, parts in my back right now. Uh, basically, the, uh, the, the, the hardware that's in there right now, I used to have flexibility down in my lower spine. I don't any longer with all the hardware in there. So. Um, it makes it a little hard uh, to, uh, you know, have a normal life. I mean, it took me quite a long time to get to where I'm at today. You know, here we are a year later. I'm still going through uh, somewhat pain and whatnot. And even when I work on my Corvette, uh, I, I still go through pain. So uh, I've learned to uh, pace myself and cut it off when I need to cut it off. So, but, uh, you know, after all, all that said and done, uh, I'm sure some of my friends are wondering. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. Are you back yet, Ed? You know what? But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. He's back. He's back. I mean, the second, uh, the, the doctor that I spoke to here recently, the new doctor, and he pretty much told me it's going to be a hit and miss. Some people recover finally off the uh, um, uh, off the surgery and others don't and sometimes it get worse it gets worse so uh, I'm I fell into the category category of others don't not sure I deserve that uh, am I done with the project nothing is over I, you know what that doctor gave me inspiration just like the doc the first doctor that uh, told me I couldn't ride anymore uh, no, I'm not done with the project and I will pursue it as hard and as long as I can until it's finished. Okay, uh, I am uh, going to take some time out for myself uh, and i am already gotten back into working out. Oh my god, I'm a fat guy! Uh, you know, pushing the iron, which uh, it's uh, what I used to do. But I'm taking some time out, so... Uh, each part of the day, uh, I take about two or three hours for myself. I exercise, I uh, work out um, the best that I can until everything starts coming back. Don't let that bastard breathe! Now, will I ever get my mobility back uh, in my right side? I think I will. With that being said, this is Sparta! Hey, let's get on to uh, the project. 
Uh, as you know, I went, went ahead and uh, decided to go ahead and replace the uh, uh, the crank seal. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it's behind the harmonic balancer, so I had to pull the old one off. Uh, and this is the old one. Uh, it's pretty simple tool that you use. Uh, you got uh, three holes here on the balancer itself. You bolt in the, or you screw in these bolts. And basically, what it does is, as you turn in, it pulls the harmonic balancer out. Uh, and you know, it's. Uh, it's not that hard, and uh, fortunately, you know, I, I don't have uh, um, a uh, a lot of miles on this Corvette, and um, uh, it wasn't really, it didn't really give me that much of a fight pulling it out. Uh, after looking at the harmonic balancer, I'm looking at the rubber, and uh, it's also starting to wear. I got I got some cracks going on. Nothing major. I probably could have put it back in there. I uh, probably got another uh, 50,000 miles off of it, but you know what? I'm in there. Uh, I just went ahead and got a new balancer. Now, as far as the uh, uh, supercharger is concerned, uh, and I'll show you here in a second, uh, I don't really need to get uh, anything fancy, so I just went with the General Motors uh, OEM style one. Uh, why? Because the reliability, uh, and they last a long time. Um, uh, OEM parts that is, so uh, you know the the uh, there's a key on the crank, and I'll show you here in a second that just slides it slides over and prevents the uh, harmonic balancer from spinning, which would uh, uh, which it could do depending on how much uh, power you got going on, uh, and that's the only uh, that's the only recommendation that uh, uh, you really need. Uh, as far as uh, harmonic balancer and the supercharger, as long as you have the key in there, it prevents it from spinning, and you're and you're good. So, as you can see, um, what I was complaining or uh, what I noticed on the original is how see how that's uh, starting to crack uh, a little bit of wear right here. Got a crack there. I think there's a couple cracks over here on the side. Um, again, it's doable. Um, it's still, I still put it on. But as you, as you can see with this one here, the new one, let's hope it don't roll off. Um, there's no cracks at all. Okay. And there were some other issues on the back. Oh, you can get ready. You see, you can see it's already starting to wear. And there's a groove right there. So they make sleeves for these things. If you wanted to do something like that, real uh, uh, simple. Um, it just goes over that uh, uh, spine, and then uh, uh, it kind of you kind of press it on, and you're good to go. Okay, so here um, is the new balancer, uh, and it's set up to go ahead for the install. So uh, again, it's pretty simple to put these things on. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory just by looking at the uh, tool. There's your tool, the bolt. You crank on that bolt, and it pushes it in. You hold the uh, uh, the shaft, the center shaft, and you slowly push it in. Well, that was easy. Anyway, let me cover the tool here, the installation tool. Uh, basically. You got a shaft here and a bolt that goes in this shaft, this tool. Um, and you have the uh, uh, the bearing that goes on the inside, that uh, goes on the shaft. You make sure there's two two parts of this bearing. There's a roller bearing on one side and then it's flat on the other side. Make sure you put the flat part uh, in uh, uh, against the nut, okay? Um, this here, this will screw into the crankshaft um, and just get it uh, up enough. I mean, you want you don't want to put it put it on tight. Just just get it all the way in, leave it a little bit loose. And this bolt that's in the shaft will go on to the uh, uh, screw onto the uh, what you call it the um, this part that goes into the crankshaft. Then ultimately your 
all set up. So that goes in that way. And then button it down and then go ahead and crank uh, and press the uh, uh, harmonic balancer on. So as you can see, pretty much everything in this episode has been, has been put on. Um, the harmonic balancer, brand new. Um, I just didn't like the uh, uh, the the the, uh, the existing one. But you know what? I don't want to have to go back in. I want everything on the front of the motor to be completely done. That way, when I put the supercharger on, uh, everything back on, I don't have to worry about anything. So there it is, there. So everything for the most part went in without any issues except for the water pump. 60% of the time it works every time. The uh, compressor, air, AC compressor being in the way did give me some problems uh, but I finally got it uh, worked in there and everything's on. I got the thermostat housing on. Um, right now I mean this is probably all I'm going to do for today. Uh, I got to get in here and do some more cleaning. Wax on, wax off. Um, my um, AC uh, bottle there got all trashed up when I uh, uh, power washed the uh, front of the motor before I put everything back on. So I got to clean all that up and uh, get the aluminum on the uh, AC compressor looking good too. So other than that, that's all for today. Um, I appreciate you guys watching uh, uh, this project as it comes comes along. Um, it's going to start probably speeding up now. I mean. Uh, uh, there's not really too much more I can do in front of the motor. So until then, uh, that was episode number five. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this to come out. Uh, I hope you're enjoying uh, the project so far. Anyway, you all take care. Be safe. Yeah, upgrade it, call it to a side of the old generation